Oh my god, we're finally able to start living again. The last few months I couldn't go into stores without scheduling um, to go shopping. Uh, you could shop like 15 minutes in the store. Uh, restaurants were closed. Um, the only place you could go outside um, were the supermarkets. And you didn't need a point, you didn't need an appointment for that. But still, it sucked. It sucked that the only thing you could go to were supermarkets. And here in the Netherlands, you don't have supermarkets where they sell TVs or laptops or anything. It's just, just food, drinks. I probably look like a tourist in my own city. By the way, I'm now vlogging with the 14mm um, with standard stabilization. And why standard stabilization? Because otherwise it will crop in even more. And with 40mm I'm not sure if you need uh, active stabilization unless you're walking. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks on standard stabilization. And this is on active. I didn't change anything except that. This is to the sides. It distorts a little bit. Sorry for the... And back to standard again. People might be thinking that I'm a criminal and <laughs> that I'm, I'm hiding for the cops because, yeah, <laughs> because I'm near these bricks and <laughs> I'm looking around if people can see me or not. I kind of not like it to talk to a camera outdoors. Yeah, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with holding a camera. But the weird thing is, I don't feel uncomfortable when I'm getting hired to do it for someone else, right? When I'm filming someone or um, when I need to interview people on the streets. When I'm interviewing people on the streets, I don't have any problem with talking to people. But when I... Sorry for the noise. But when I am approaching someone just because I like how someone looks or anything else, I'm uncomfortable doing that, but with a camera and with someone paying me to do it, <laughs> I have no idea how I'm able to flip a switch. Why do I feel uncomfortable talking to people? I kind of feel like sometimes people, like when we were young, right? When I was young, my parents always said to me, don't bother these people, don't bother people, don't, no? And I feel like when you do that, to your children, when you say to your children that you may not bother someone. Um, I think I will go there, it's, it seems quiet there. You see, when I'm alone, I'm an introvert, but when I'm with people or when I'm getting hired to do something, I'm an extrovert. Could someone please Please learn me how to be an extrovert all the time. Because I would love that. I would love to be an extrovert the whole time. Backlit situation. Ooh. Oh wow. Ooh. <laughs> I really love this lens. I really love the fact that it's even smaller than my Tamron 17 to 28. Um, Really love it. It's it's smaller, not a, not a lot. It's a bit smaller, but still, it's great. But hey, it's twice the price, right? It should be smaller for that price. <laughs> Unless you're a Sigma, right? The Sigma 14 millimeter 1.8 is way bigger. By the way, this is not the lens 
if you want to TikTok or anything, look how distorted my face looks. You could say this is my real face. I have a funny face, right? But yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to use this for TikToking. It's like, oh, it's even less because I. Ooh. Is my face distorted? Is my face distorted or are you just close to me? Okay, okay. Yeah, love it. Love it. It's wide. I don't need to hold my arms over there 20 meters from my face. Because I sometimes see YouTubers that have a 24 millimeter lens uh, or that are vlogging with uh, the 16 millimeter on a crop body or that they are using the RX100 and they their top of their face is just gone they don't have it they don't have it they're hiding something and i'm not sure what it is 